Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca Farina. And I'm Mike Peters. And you're watching LIE. <laughs> Coming up, Mylan Studart's gonna give us more from the Supper Girls. We'll have a look at National Night Out. Plus, Brain Babies. All that and more on, on LIE. LIE. Here it comes. Incoming. Woo! Right on the table. It's a graceful landing. Is that. That was beautiful. This week's this hashtag. This has to be this week's hashtag of the week, but before we look at it, let's look at last week's. Which was Olympics 2016, so let's take a look at those photos. Ooh, cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Damn. The Olympics sure were great this year, huh? Yeah, a lot of stars out there. Lots of stuff happening. Good stuff. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at this week's let's hashtag, take a look. which is... It is hashtag back to school. Back to school. Oh, man, it is that time of year, yeah, huh? it's that time of year. I can't believe the summer just flew by. Yeah. We had a lot of great interns, actually, this semester that are going back. We, we had did. Melissa. We're going to miss them. Yeah, we had Michael. Mike, we had Andrew. Chris. Chris. And, and Jamie. Steven and Jamie. Oh, we had and a lot Rong. this year. And they're all going back to school, you know? You yeah. can sure learn a lot in school. But you can also take a lot of cool pictures or share us your tweets about going back to school, whatever yeah, your you like. fears or what you're looking forward to. I used to love back to school shopping. I did Still too. do. I love the smell of new paper. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, you can sure learn a lot in school, but you know where else you can learn a lot? On the open water. So let's oh. check in with Mylon Studart, who has this week's edition of The Supper Girls. Welcome to this one-on-one -on, -one on LIE special with the Supper Girls. We already learned all about their story, paddleboarding from New York to Miami, the physical challenges that they faced, and now we're going deeper into the story. Well, it started Several years ago, um, yeah. yeah, I met, I met her when I started working at MKC, um, Manhattan Kaya Company here in New York, and we get that question a lot. We get questions about how how we got along, if we, if, if we still, still like fun. each other, <laughs> and it was never really a question of trying to figure out whether this it, the partnership would work or if we'd get along. It was literally the conversation went, do you want to go? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and that, that was it. That was, that was as far as it went. It was, it was that simple. We never felt like quitting. We, we went through some lows. Definitely, um, between the cold and the wind. There was a lot of whining. A, a lot of whining. <laughs> but we also, we knew we needed to whine. So <laughs> sometimes you just gotta whine. You, you gotta can't. get it out. Exactly, yeah. you can't force yourself to stay positive the whole time because it, you can't. like forcing that positivity on a situation is exhausting. So, but we also acknowledged that that was just then, and it w it would get better at some point. It, it you know it, you know <laughs> it had to right. It had to get better. So and and we had each other. Even yeah. though we were together on this trip, I feel like her experience was hers and mine was. I think it's a it's a very personal approach. Is how you relate to what you're going through or how you choose to experience what's happening to you, basically. I feel like the only advice that at, at least I can give is you have to be up for it. You have to um, be willing to go through really bad situations and know that you have the skills to get out of it alive. I mean, anybody can prepare for the nice things, right? The sunny days, the flat water, the downwinders, whatever. Um, but you, you have to be aware that it's 75, 85% of the time it's gonna suck. And you have to be ready for it. I think that's the only thing that you need to be ready for, the suck. Yeah. You need to embrace the suck. Embrace <laughs> the suck.
It's good to have a friend on a 1500 mile from New York to Miami on a paddleboard. <laughs> Stay tuned for next week when we discover what a typical day was like for them. Don't miss it. The summer release is on, and Long Island has tons of outdoor events to help you cool down. If you have a child interested in marine life, then check out Cold Spring Harbor's Catch and Keep Trout Fishing event. Children and parents can get together and catch trout fish. This is a weekly event that is on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays in the late morning and early afternoon, and Saturdays and Sundays during the late afternoon. An admission fee of $5 per person is required. Lastly, the Great Next Social Center offers many opportunities to take part in community events over the summer. With this year's presidential election around the corner, you can express your thoughts and opinions on the candidates and their stances on today's issues at the weekly World In Depth events, Tuesdays at 2 p.m. And lastly, if you want to beat the summer heat, the Great Next Social Center provides transportation to the Parkwood Pool if you're a registered member. All of these events are great opportunities to stay active as the summer winds down. Let's take a look at what's coming up this week on PATV. As always, the weekend mornings are for the kids. We start off with Adventures with Mickey at 8.30 a.m., followed immediately at 9 by an hour of classic cartoons that you won't want to miss. It's summer, so as you know, the village of Great Neck Plaza has its summer concert series. Catch them after the cartoons at 10 a.m. And on Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m., be sure to catch the latest concerts. There's a new concert from the Summer Series every Tuesday night. Wednesdays at 1.30 p.m., be sure to catch Dance Visions New York's performance entitled Isadora Duncan into the 21st Century. Shirley Romaine narrates as the dancers take your breath away. And as always, all of PATV's original programming will stream live on the web so you can take PATV with you anywhere. Just log on to patv.org dash livestream. Oh, and thanks for watching. What you doing? Me? Oh, nothing. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's an open mic. Exactly. And why do we have an open mic? Well, you remember that show we have, The Brick Wall? Of course. Well, we've been going strong all summer long, and even I got a chance That's to be right. on the show. Uh, would you like to take a look at some Let's clips? Let's take a look at this awesome take a look. Let's take a look. Good morning. I hope you slept well all through the night. You were snoring. Kept me up until there was light. Snow outside, but I don't care. Cause you had me to sleep by your side, and that's paradise for me every day. Uh, 30 years old, and I don't feel that bad about 30. A lot of people, a lot of people get really nervous about 30. Hell, I can't wait till I'm 60. I can't wait till I'm 70. <laughs> I just can't wait until I stop caring so much about what people think. Because I do care what people think. It's, it's, it's hard. It's, uh, I don't think it's a very good thing. Um, and there's so many people out there who don't care what people think about them. And I see them and I'm in awe of them. And there's so many of them. And if you need uh, proof of that, just log on to your Facebook and just look at any of your friends and see the stupid and ignorant and gross things they post. But I think this is where Facebook kind of missed the boat. I think they should have taken a cue from Netflix, you know? I think, yeah. uh, you know, you watch Netflix and it's like, oh, I see you've watched Breaking Bad. You might want to watch The Wire. And okay, it's great. That's where Facebook should be like, oh, I see you've unfollowed John. And Nancy's been posting a lot of cat videos lately. You might want to unfollow her. <laughs>
Victoria Cause I know the way I won't feel tonight Victoria Those guys are so awesome. Yeah, they're they really good. good. And you know, I really liked your stand up. Ah, oh, thank you. Especially the Pokemon Go jokes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, you actually had a short film that you premiered on the brick wall, right? Yes, that's true. It was Brain Babies. Super funny. And I just want to remind you guys at home if you uh, want to perform live with music, comedy, ventriloquism, magic, anything, anything. just email it up. Email us at patvbrickwall at gmail.com and we'll put you on the show. We can't wait to see you. So now let's take a look at that short film Brain Babies I've heard so much about. Okay. Yeah, let's watch it. Harry, I found it pretentious that you would sign your email with Mr. in your signature after you rejected my kick-ass application and only referred to me as Sarah. Do you think I give an antelope's behind about your daily attempt to be a know-it-all alpha male who needs everyone to praise him for having a... Maybe next time we exchange emails... You'll be doctor. Maybe then I'll be impressed. Happy Teddy Bear Picnic Day. Bet you didn't know that was today, did you? Is this any better? Roses are red, violets are blue. If I had a brick, I'd shove it up your wazoo. I missed wishing you a happy Christmas, but I'm sure it was filled with delightful encounters of your family and your fiance, wishing they didn't know you. I was gonna invite you to Teddy Bear Picnic Day, but then I reread this email and I remembered that I hate you.
have. I'm sorry to bother you with the pain and suffering of others. I'll be sure to send you coupons instead next time to your local yacht club up over there in the Hamptons. Send me a postcard. Sometimes I'm low on toilet paper. <laughs> hey Sarah, I really enjoyed sitting next to you in class and hearing about your humanitarian ideas and that remarkable poetry you read for extra credit. You really are a kind person, and I love the random brain babies of words that you give birth to. Where do they even come from? Maybe we can get some hummus and crackers sometime? I'll look for you at graduation. If not, it's cool. Joe. Joe! 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 I didn't know. I didn't receive your email until now. Let's talk and get together soon. Wait until you hear my new poem. And I enjoy your brain babies, too. I knew from the moment I saw that little bump part that kind of sticks out from your head that there was something interesting going on in there. You're special. Give me a call anytime at the number below. Sarah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow, Rebecca, that was a really great film. Thanks, Mike. How did you make such a good film? Well, I think the key is to always have a really good crew, no matter that's what. That's true, that's true. And here at PATV, we have the best crew. They that's can do right. almost everything. Like, for instance, our stage manager today was actually a field producer and mm -hmm. editor of the next clip. So you want to take a look? Let's take a look. Here's National Night Out. We stopped by Firefighters Park in Green Egg Plaza to check out National Night Out, an annual event hosted by legislator Ellen Birnbaum and organized by the Nassau County Police Department. Here, they greet, educate, and discuss ways to keep the Green Egg community safe. We asked Officer Carlos J. Rivera about some of the dangers that they bring attention to at this event. These are identity theft, stranger danger, phone scams, and burglaries. You know, we try to educate people as much as possible. To combat these problems, we, we need the public's help. That's why we educate everyone, you know, basically to get the word out there that we're going to help. We asked Legislator Birnbaum her perspective on the event as well. A lot of people have been stopping by. Everybody wants to see what's on the table, you know, what interesting things there are to read and to take home. People read the many pamphlets and flyers presented by the Nassau County Police Department. Pictures commemorated the event. 
senior citizens, families, and young adults discovered more about community engagement with the police, learned about the various safety measures they take to protect the community, and how families can do the same in case of an emergency. The officers also brought safety-themed coloring books for the kids. With the beautiful weather and a friendly atmosphere, this event was the highlight of the night. Legislator Birnbaum told us her favorite part of this popular event. Well, I just love to get out in the community and to meet people, you know, in person and talk to them and find out if there are any concerns. But truthfully, tonight everybody seems very happy, very relaxed. The weather's beautiful, so it's just very pleasant meeting and greeting. As expected, National Night Out was a wonderful night out. Our Nassau County Police Department and Legislator Birnbaum welcomes community members to ask questions, to be involved, and to feel comfortable speaking with uniformed officers. Smiles were consistent throughout the night, and we look forward to seeing it again next year. I'm Melissa Kaplan, and this has been a PATV production. Well, we reached the end of the show. It's true. And it was a really good show. It was a good show. Yeah, we checked in with the Supper Girls and Mylon Studart. That's right. We had more brick wall action. It was awesome. That's true. And we looked at your short film. That's right, Brain Babies. And we had a look at National Night Out. That's true. And I just want to remind everybody to use our hashtag of the week, Back to School. Send us your pics, your tweets, anything. We'll put them on the air. We know you have stuff to share, so please share it. Hashtag Back to School. It's true. And before we head out, as always, I'd like to end with, you know what it is. The vibe of the week. The vibe of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, here's back. Grace Grella. Thanks, Mike and Rebecca. Awesome intro, as always. I'm feeling the vibes from you two, and it's always the love, the love zone. And that's what this week is going to be. The vibe this week is all about love and romance and getting, getting to know people more on an intimate level. And whether that's your loved one, your friend, um, your coworker, it's all about relationships this week. So really, you're going to find the sweet spot and it's going to make things go smoothly and just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street and you will have a lovely, lovely time this week. Uh, everything is going to be in your favor insofar as relationships and the ease of relationships this week. So it's a really good time to, you know, have that discussion um, that you want to have with your loved one and you know, create that intimacy. All we need is love. You are love. Remember that. And until the next time, stay into the positive zone. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.